Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno, and here we are for day two of the 54th BFI London Film Festival. Our first film this evening is Dobie Gat, starring the world famous Amir Khan. Your film has been written with two kind of um, settings in mind. Can you explain a little bit more about that for us? Um, uh, are you talking about the starting points of the yes. script, really? They, uh, well, one was really to explore, uh, you know, the class difference in a city like Bombay, where actually it's possible to sort of forge a new identity in, 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 uh, in a country where caste and, you know, uh, other kinds of classifications play a lot of role. Uh, Bombay is a city where you can really find uh, a new life, and people come to the city looking for that. And really it was to see whether someone from a totally different class uh, can really um, uh, get past that and uh, find find a meaningful relationship with someone from another class. The other thing I sort of wanted to explore was the, the, the idea of someone finding um, something in in their home which which was a very personal uh, story of someone else's life who'd lived in the same place and that happens a lot in Bombay because of the the rent structures and you know short-term leases so you kind of always you're always sort of moving home that happened to you too as well didn't it it did I do I've, I've lived in uh, I think 10 apartments over five years and uh, and it really feels sort of strange you know you the house is almost warm from its last occupant and you you can imagine you know the, the way the furniture was set up is is totally different and you kind of have to make a home every every time so it really was looking at uh, um, looking at uh, how you kind of the, someone looks at the city afresh through someone else's eyes in a sense and when you wrote the script did you intend to direct it yourself oh yes I did yeah absolutely yeah and your, your husband is also the producer so what was it like directing him and and be, him being your producer did he tell you what to do um, no, actually, as producer, he uh, he kind of only um, green lighted the script and the project, and uh, and left the production to me, which wasn't quite the, the most exciting thing I realized later because it was tough being a first time director and first time producer. But uh, but I do think uh, um, he's been. I mean, he was an incredible support. It didn't uh, it didn't come in the way at all because he's a he's he's so experienced and you know he, for him it was just another film like you know. But for me, it was, it was a big support to have him there. Our second film, we get to speak to Mariana Chanelio, one of the ten directors from Revolution. Mariana, Hello. bienvenidos. Gracias. Hola. <laughs> Hola. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. And welcome to the UK. Thank you, thank you. What a great concept for a film, Revolution. It is. It's, uh, it's ten directors. I'm the only one here right now presenting the film. <laughs> but it's ten of us. And we were reunited by the producer Pablo Cruz and by two of the other directors, which are Diego Luna and Gael Garcia, which are also the producers. And each of us was asked the question of what does the idea of the revolution or the concept or the historical events bring to your mind nowadays? There were only two premises. One, that the short films could not be any longer than, than 10 minutes. And the other one is that it, they couldn't be historical. They had to be set in the present time. So it's ten very different visions from ten directors that perhaps I should mention all of them because it's like a, a very interesting landscape of Mexican cinema. And the film is quite critical and it has been very well received in many other places. So we're really happy to show it here. And it's also to, to, to commemorate as well the 100th anniversary of the Mexican Revolution, isn't it? It is. The 20th of uh, November, this November, uh, it's 100 years from the start of the Mexican Revolution. And it's actually something that was made to, uh, because it, there's not like really not, 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 nothing much to celebrate in Mexico right now. The, the situation is quite difficult and everything that's happening is something that's really worth like thinking, what, what should we do, what's happening, what are the problems right now, what has been solved, what has changed and what hasn't. So we believe, I think that, we didn't know what the others were doing, but then when we saw the film, we all realized that the film was quite critical and that we all had, it was, it, of course it was not a coincidence, it's like a question, a, a different question, but all like important and, and um, hard questions to ask that we believe that, uh, that Mexico needs to be asking itself right now. And yeah, and also to celebrate film, I mean that the films that, that, that come from your country are something to be celebrated. Oh well, yeah. That yeah, I think that well, and that's perhaps part of the the good thing about being the ten of us together that we really have enjoyed 
like being in the same film than the other nine directors. So that's, we are really, well, I am really proud to belong of a, to a generation of young filmmakers, which I admire. I admire the, all of the other directors that are in the film. But it's like also, like I, I believe that film and art help us bring up questions that the society needs. Well, we're certainly jet-setting this evening as we've been to India, we've been to Mexico, and now we're off to Denmark for our next film, A Family. Can you tell us what, where you first got the idea from to write A Family? And, and tell us about it, please. Yeah, um, well, A Family is a very uh, personal film for me. And my father died in 2001, and when he died, I um, I wrote a lot of uh, essays and poetry. It wasn't really a script, but it was little things. You cannot really say what it is. And then this time, uh, when I started writing uh, and uh, thinking about what I wanted to do, I was thinking, this time I really want to do something which is more about me. So, and my family and how, what I have experienced in life. So, um, so this film is really about a family that has to uh, deal with that family is not a constant. Family is something that changes all the time. And, um, but it's also a film about a family that really gets a chance to uh, renew itself, to change roles. Yeah, and it's interesting actually because it, even within a generation, our, our hopes, our expectations have, have changed, haven't they? Because it may be uh, like back in our, our father's time, you would have a family business, you would be expected to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, like sort of decades on, we are now more independent and we can go out and find out more for ourselves. Yeah, I think in this, in this film, maybe the dad is maybe the last patriarch thinking I can I, I, I am so much in power that I can decide for my children what to do and how they should live their lives so the film is very much about how he tries to control everybody and how he have how they all have been dependent on his control uh, and and the, how they all in a way suffer when they're not controlled anymore by him yeah, so. that's, that's true. And you said it was based on, on personal experiences. So was it quite a cathartic film for you to put some ghosts to rest? Oh, yes, very much, I think. Very much. And did you this. learn anything yourself about family values and, and how you address your own values? Um, yeah, I, think, I don't think there's one scene in the film which is not about exactly that thing. So in, it, you can say it has really been you know, putting in mirrors in relationships. And of course, I've thought a lot of my own. I have, I am a mother. I am a sister. I am not a brother, but I'm a daughter, and I'm a granddaughter, and all this. So, you know, all these things are mirrored in the film. Now that darkness has fallen, we're getting kicked out, so we can bring to you the latest vampire movie. Let me in. Stay tuned.